Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs. Happy Easter, we are getting close. And today I have three new dome card, candy card holders for you using the plastic Christmas ornaments. Now these are Easter animals inside of an Easter egg, just cracking out of the Easter egg and ready to give to your friends, your children, your neighbors. They're so fun. These are made using a 3.15 inch Christmas plastic ornament. These can be found at most of your craft stores year round. If you can't find them, you can get them on Amazon or a lot of other online places. So um, that, should, that should be pretty easy to go ahead and find these. You'll need one half for each card. Let me show you what I've got and then we will go ahead and start assembling them. So the first one is an Easter Bunny and he's popping out of an Easter egg and I don't know, I might have cut these out of the wrong color for you to see them on the camera. So I cut my egg out of a cream colored and then I cut my bunny out of white. I hope they'll show up. They're looking like maybe on the camera they don't too much. Then next we have a chick that's popping out of the Easter egg. And then, then we also have a little lamb that's popping out of the Easter egg. So each one of these files comes with either a <clears throat> dial back or a pull tab back. Doesn't matter which one that you want to use. I have found that the dial back um, are a little bit difficult for children with small fingers or dexterity problems. So if you're doing them for little, little kids, I would almost suggest the pull tab. Either one works. The pull tab, once they're open, they're open. The dial back, you can open and close repeatedly. We're going to go ahead and start with our lamb today. So I'm going to slide him over here. The tools that you will need are a hot melt glue gun. Uh, the low temp doesn't work. You will need some scissors, some glue, a pencil, and then I recommend foam tape or foam pop dots. You don't have to use these on all of these. In fact, if you look at my video with the spring dome cards, I did one, the flower, without these just to show you that it doesn't need to be done. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the foam tape. I love it, so I use it. If you're doing the dial back, which our little lamb is, you are going to need a brad. And these are just the regular brads that you get at your grocery store or just about anywhere else. We also have the frame, two little hooves. I don't know if you can see those. The Easter egg that's cracked open. a pink muzzle and a black, or not muzzle, but nose, and a black one. You can decide if you wanna use both or just the black one. Depends, I gave you the option for both depending on the color, whatever your lamb is gonna be. He has a puff of hair on the top, his face, the outline piece, the back piece, or the back layer, excuse me. And then we have our back layer. So this one um, is for the pool tab, or the, ah, excuse me, I'm all flustered now. This one is for the dial. So we have that piece. We have our two washers, our dial bit, and the very, very back piece. I'm gonna set these aside. We're gonna bring down our back layer and we're going to add on our last layer or back layer on the top. It'll match those up and they should match up just almost perfectly. I'm on this silicone mat and it's hard to grab these. And then we're going to take our pen or pencil and draw a circle. And that is our placement line for our dome.
go ahead and remove that. Because we're doing the dial dome, we do not need to fill it with candy first, but we do need to assemble the back pieces. So I'm going to take my, this is kind of an egg shape, but it's the back, and put the brad through it. Flip it over and we want one washer. Then we want the dial. Then we want the second washer. Then we want the back piece with the circle that we just drew facing us. That makes sense. Don't worry too much about lining all those up right now. Just get that brad opened and nice and tight. And we can flip it over and straighten this out. And we are gonna add glue all the way around the edge of that circle, making sure that we, or the edge of that back piece, making sure that we don't get any glue where the dial piece is going to go. I'm just gonna take my little glue gun here and add some glue around the edge. I'm gonna go up, oh, maybe three inches. Flatten it down. I'm gonna do this side. Go up the same, maybe three inches. Stay on the edge. Flatten it down. And then let's get the top. Once we have that, we're going to go ahead and spin this dial and make sure that it is opening and closing. And it is. And I tell you this on every video, but if it is not spinning, one of two things has happened. Either you've gotten glue too close to the dial and so it can't spin, or you have forgotten your um, washer pieces. So if it's not spinning, take it apart, make sure that you don't have glue too close to that wheel and make sure both of your washer pieces are in place and you'll need both of them. Okay, once we have that ready, I'm gonna go ahead and close this. We're going to take glue and we're gonna put glue all the way around that line. And I'm actually gonna open it. I open it so that I don't get glue on there accidentally. We're going to take our, do our dome and lay it on that circle and point your hanging tab away from the opening. You can turn it all the way down to the bottom if you want or to the side. It doesn't matter. You just don't want it right over that opening. And if you forget and get, put it there, it's not going to make that big of a difference. It'll be fine. So once we have that laid in place, let's go ahead and add glue to our dome. And I bump that, and I'll make sure it's right on the right place. It is. All the way around our with the hot glue. Perfect. Okay, we'll just set that aside for a second or two to dry, and then we will continue making our lamb. So the next thing that we need is the full piece, and this, you're actually going to, um, what am I trying to say? We're gonna flip it over, because it's not quite symmetrical. It's really, really close, but it's not perfect. So we wanna make sure that we've got everything lined up and then that we flip it over. And I'm gonna add foam pop dots to this piece. If you wanted to just glue it down directly, you could. I like the foam pop dots because you've got that little hang tag on your dome and it's gonna kind of lift it up anyway so if you put these foam pop dots down it just makes it a little bit smoother but i've had lots of people tell me that they don't like the foam pop dots and they just glue it directly and that's fine too it'll work and it will be fine and pull that off Line that up. There 
There we go. Okay, this next piece is our white piece that I cut out for the lamb. You can do this out of gray or whatever color you want your lamb. Again, you're going to want to first make sure that it lines up. It's not going to come all the way to the top, and that's okay. Um, there's going to be a little bit of shadow all the way around, except not around the ears. And I designed it that way. I thought it looked best that way. So we're going to go ahead and flip that one over and just add tape. This one I'm not doing the foam. And then we have the Easter egg, and I think this would be so fun cut out of patterned paper, like striped paper or polka dot paper, just to make it really look like an Easter egg. For my demos, I always use um, just solid cardstock, and there's a reason I do that. And that is because when I used to use pattern paper, which I love, I would get emails saying, I thought that paper came with it, or where is that paper? And a lot of times people couldn't find it, or they were just frustrated. And so to save the frustration, I now just do everything in solid colors. Next up, we're gonna add our little frame. The frame is an optional piece, but I think it gives the dome kind of a finished look. But if you were using your printed paper and you didn't want to take away from the printed paper, you wouldn't have to do that. You could omit that piece. Okay, I'm gonna take his face and I'm gonna actually put that on with a pop dot. Just to add some dimension to this card. Just cover up the white piece where the ears are. Then next we have the little hair. Not little hair, but the poofy hair, fur. What does sheep have, fur, hair? I'm not sure. Just glue that on there. Then we have our nose, and I'm gonna glue him on first. And then you can decide if you want the pink nose or not. Totally up to you. I love it both ways. I like it with just the black. I also like it with the pink. So I am going to add the pink. I did not add a cutout for the eyes because they were so tiny. So all I'm gonna use is my Sharpie and just dot two little eyes on there. Maybe my Sharpie's about dead. I need a new one. Okay, there we go. I just wanted two little tiny eyes. I don't even know if you can see that on the screen. And then last, we're going to add our little hooves. And you can add those with glue or to pop dots. Why not just add a little bit of pop dots since the face is added up or using that. Can't trim that up, I got it too big. And I really, really hope you can see that egg in the camera because it's just, it's so cute having this little lamb or, yeah, this little lamb or this little sheep pop out of the Easter egg. Okay, let's flip it over. I'm going to fill that up with some M&Ms, some springtime M&Ms. Close it. And there is our little lamb in the Easter egg, all ready for Easter. Let's do the Easter bunny next. 
So I have this Easter Bunny, and he's, again, poking out of the Easter egg. His little feet are popping out of the bottom. But I also have just a regular Easter Bunny. Well, he's not really an Easter Bunny. He's just a bunny that I did for more for like a baby or a birthday. But you could use this one for Easter, too. So we have the girl and the boy. But let's do this one out of the Easter egg because I think he's so cute. And I added a flower just to add a little bit of decoration to it. If that's too girly for you, you can um, not cut out the flower and not do that. So we have the flower, which has a middle piece and uh, the outer piece and two leaves. And then we have two feet and they come with a pink piece and the outside piece. So you're going to cut this out of whatever you want the inside of your bunny feet to be. And there's two of those. We have the dome. We have the frame. The Easter egg again, which you could, again, printed paper would be really cute. And then we have his nose, his whiskers, his little teeth, so if you wanted a bucktooth rabbit, there he is. If you don't want a bucktooth rabbit, don't add the teeth. We have the bunny. The inside bunny, which is the ears and the muzzle. Uh, the ears and, yeah, just the ears show with this. And we have this black piece, and this is just added for strength, plus it gives your eyes the black color. So whatever color you want your eyes, is what you're gonna cut this piece out of. And then we have the final back piece, back layer, and it has the pull tab, so I'm gonna flip it over and just kinda bend that pull tab up a little bit. Okay, let's lay that down, and we want to take the fullest piece that we have, which is the pink, and we're gonna lay it on there, and make sure that it's all the right, right where we want it. And then we're going to trace our circle with a pencil. Because this is a pool tab, we need to fill the dome before we add it on there. So I have some speckled eggs, which is jelly beans. Throw a few of them in there. And then we're going to tip this over and we're going to line it up on that circle that I just drew. You want to make sure that the pool tab, or excuse me, the hang tab on the ornament is away from the pool tab. Just spin it down there a little bit. Make sure it's all lined up. And then we're going to go ahead and add our glue. And make sure that you don't put glue on the pool tab. Okay, while that dries, I'm going to do this one just a little bit different than I normally do. I'm going to slide that up across the bottom or away from us and I'm going to take my black piece and I'm going to glue or tape it directly to this pink piece matching up the circle. You want to make sure none of the black shows on the outside and that it matches up to this circle. Oops and I think I just put, oh we're good, we're good. I think I put tape right where his eyes are going to go but I think we'll be okay. I just I don't know if you can see that. I might be out of the camera. So we're going to line that up, that black piece, right along the pink piece. And now I'm going to add foam pop dots to this whole thing and add it to my back piece. If you just do the foam pop dots to the black, then it doesn't lay right. And if you do it to, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, if you only do it to the pink, if you glue the black on and then you do it to the pink, then your eyes don't look quite right. I know, because I've tried this a couple different times. So this is my suggestion, is to glue the black piece to your pink piece 
and then add foam pop dots and add it to that back layer. Or don't use the foam pop dots at all. And you don't have to use them. It just lifts it up away from that tab on your ornament. And if you've watched all of these videos, I'm beginning to sound like a broken record. <laughs> but if you're watching it chapter by chapter with the uh, card that you're working on, then I need to give you all the information. So. Come on. I did tell you in the video that I made the spring dome cards that I like to shade these when I'm giving them away, but I don't normally do it for the videos just because it takes so much time. But if you want a video on how I do my shading, go find the spring dome candy cards. And on the Easter Bunny, I show you, not the Easter Bunny, I keep saying that, on the Spring Bunny, I show you how I do my shading. Okay, so once we have that pink layer down, now we're gonna go ahead and glue this white layer down. Um, and I am gonna do it with glue because those ears are kind of tiny. Not tiny, thin, a little bit thin. My glue will dry clear. Okay, now we're going to add the Easter egg. You wanna make sure that you've got it going in the right direction. And the frame. I think he is just so cute. He's different than any Easter bunnies I've done before. Well, he kind of matches the one I did for the laser files last year. But he's just really, I really like him. It's probably my favorite one of these three cards. Okay, now we're going to do his face. So I'm going to add some glue to his whiskers. And I'm not gluing them all the way down. I'm just gluing them right in the middle so that they're kind of poking up a little bit. And his nose goes right over the X. Turn the right direction. And then his little buck teeth. All right, his feet, we're gonna add the white, or glue the white to the pink so that the pink shows through. And then I think I will add those with some foam. And then I'm going to glue my leaves on. 
and glue my center to my flower, but then I'm gonna add foam pop dots to the flower to pop it up. didn't stick. There we go. And there is our little Easter bunny hopping out of the Easter egg. So cute. Flip him over. You can pull the tab to get the candy out or you can do the spin dial on that if you'd like to. Just so fun. Such a fun little Easter bunny with his little butt teeth. Okay, the last one that we're going to do is the chick in the egg. And this one is also a spin dial, or a, excuse me, a dial back, but you can uh, do it with a pull tab as well. So we have the dome, have the brad. I have two brads, but we only need one. The dial, the two washers, very, very important when doing these, and the back piece. And then we have his two little legs, feet, the frame, the Easter egg, the beak, the body, and the back pe black piece again. And I'm going to do the same thing with that as I did on the Easter Bunny. But first, let's get the back piece ready by laying our full piece on there, getting it as straight as you can does not need to be perfect. And draw in your circle, whoa, whoops. And that's why I use pencil, so I can erase when I make a mistake. Let's grab our brad. And we're going to put it through the back of the back piece, flip it over, Add your washer, add your dial, add your washer, and then keep this so that the circle is facing towards you, the circle that you just drew, and put it through there. Don't worry about getting it all lined up. You want to open up that brad first. Ooh, that's a stiff one. That actually has four tongs on it. I've never seen that before. Oh, and it is stiff, so we're going to take that out. Look at that, I don't know if you can see that. It's got four tongs. Okay, so we're gonna take this one, pop it through. Ah, good, only two that time. That was weird. Flatten it down. Okay, then we're going to flip it over and we're going to add glue underneath along the whole edge so that um, it stays in place but the dial can move. I'm just going to take my little glue bottle and put glue right along the edge. I'm going to go up about three inches or so. You want to make sure that you're just on the edge so that glue doesn't get along that dial. I'm gonna flip it. Izzy, no. Sorry, my dog's barking at the mailman. I'm gonna flip it. And then we're gonna do that top piece. Make sure that the dial spins. And this one does. If it's not spinning, either you've gotten glue too close to the dial, and so that's why it won't work, or you forgot one of your washers. Okay, once that's done, we're gonna leave that open and we're going to um, get our dome 
and line it right up along the line. Because this is the dial back, we do not need to fill it first. We could just glue it directly on there. And I'm gonna spin it so that this little hang tab part, make sure that you can see everything, this little hang part tag is away from the opening. Okay. And we'll just go ahead and add glue all the way around. Set that to the side to cool down for just a minute. All right, next we want to make sure that our hair is going, the hair of our chicken is going in the right direction. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm going to glue or tape this black piece to the back of my chicken piece. I think I did tape last time, this time we'll just do glue. Really doesn't matter. We wanna line up the circle where the dome's gonna pop through and then make sure that none of the black is hanging over the edge. Once that's done, let's add some pop dots or foam tape to that. And now we're going to go ahead and put this down with the foam pop dots. I mentioned in the bunny, and I'll do it again, the reason I did that this way instead of just adding the foam top pop dots um, is it makes it set more evenly without wobbling. On this one, it probably wouldn't matter as much as it did on the bunny, but I thought it worked better if I... Um, Glued the black piece on first and then added my pop dots because you can see on the sides here the pop dots are kind of hanging over the black. If you don't want the pop dots, the foam, you can just go ahead and glue it directly to there but you are going to have a little lift right there where your hang tab is. Okay. Oh, and my glue is showing through my eyes but that's all right. It'll dry. Okay, set that on there. Then we're going to add our Easter egg. How cute would this be cut out of a chevron paper or plaid paper, polka dot, so cute. And then let's add our frame. I think the Easter chick has the least amount of pieces So that might be a good one to start with, but it's so cute. And then we're just gonna add the finishing touches, which is the beak and the two feet. And yes, I'm going to put foam tape on those as well. Need smaller pieces than that. It's one of the reasons I like the roll is because I can make them as small as I need to, or as big as I need to. You could add some little cheeks with your ink if you were inking these up. Um, you could take the flower off of the bunny that we just did if you wanted to add a flower to this one, make it a little more girlish. Okay, and let's flip him over and fill him. I've got just some regular jelly beans here. 
I have to give those to my husband. He loves the black jelly beans. Oh, oh. Close it up. And there is our little chick. See his eyes already drying. Popping out of an Easter egg. So, so cute. So we have the chick. We have the bunny. And we have the lamb. I hope you'll give one or two or all three of these a try. I hope you have a fabulous and fantastic Easter. Please hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my videos. Give me a thumbs up and have a great day.